everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today I'm doing my first Halloween tutorial ever and I think I look very strange. I don't recognize myself, but I'm loving this look, I'm loving the result, especially since I've never done anything like this before. So hopefully you will enjoy it and hopefully you will get excited and inspired for Halloween as well. I can't wait. This is the look that I'm going to wear with a messed up bloody dress and I'm so excited you guys. I don't have words. So excited! So hopefully you will enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So to start this look, I'm going in with NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This don't have to be that very nice because we're going to blend it out. And now I'm just taking a white eyeshadow and I'm setting everything nicely. Then to create a little Barbie kind of look, I'm going in with this gorgeous pink color from the Morphe Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm just working it in my crease and outer C and building it up. Then I'm taking this purple color and I'm doing the same thing but I'm only focusing here on my crease and I'm not dragging it upwards. Then I'm going back in with the NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil and I'm just going to color my waterline to make the eyes pop and kind of create a illusion of a bigger eye and then I'm just making a wing with a liquid eyeliner and now I'm going back in with that purple color and I'm kind of placing it a little under where we put the whites to make the eyes appear wider and then I'm just taking mascara and now I'm going to put on some gorgeous lashes and then it's time to contour because Barbie has that perfect face. But here I'm only contouring my chin, my jawlines and my forehead. Because we're not going to put anything where we're going to put on the wax. And now I'm just making those plastic surgery arrows. And here you can just type it in on Google and you will get images on how they look like. So I'm just doing what I think looks nice. So as you can see I decided to go with a lot of surgery because I thought this looked very fun and you can of course choose to go out like this also because this is a very fun and easy look to create for Halloween but I'm going to make it more disgusting because we're doing a after surgery or surgery gone bad look. So here I'm just taking some wax and I'm just placing it on my nose. This was actually a struggle to get it to stick so I had to go in with some spirit gum which is kind of like a glue and I'm just placing the wax where I want the wounds to be and also a little tip here don't put any foundation or anything on your skin before you're going to do this because the wax won't stick as well. Then I'm just going to cut it up and kind of open up so it will be a open wound. And now I'm just taking a black liquid liner and I'm going to cover the wounds black inside. And now I'm going in with this blue eyeshadow from the Morphe Matte Palette. You can use any kind of blue color that you want. I did this just to create that very bruised up eyes which you get after surgery and now I'm going in with a purple one the same as we used in our crease and this was actually the most fun thing about this tutorial because you can play around with different colors and there's actually no final answer to or how you can do this. You're, you just need to play around and yeah have fun with this so I'm just taking the purple all over where I want it to look very bruised up 
and especially on the nose part because I've seen some plastic surgeries on the nose and then I'm going in with this burgundy color just to make it look even more disgusting and even more bruised up and bloody and infected which I loved I love this color especially and this is also from the Morphe palette and I'm just playing around with it I don't know how to explain this actually you just need to look for yourself and kind of yeah have fun with this and now I'm taking this blood paste from Graftobian. This is kind of like a scab or a thick blood paste which really made the whole look. In my opinion, I love to play around with this. It was so much fun and this kind of looks very wet and sticky all day so it doesn't dry out. So if you're doing any similar looks or you, if you're doing wounds, I really really recommend you to go and buy some blood paste because that really made the whole look. And now I'm just going in with some fake blood from face painting. This is stage blood and I'm just and I'm just taking it into the wounds and I'm letting it drip all over my face so it will look very fresh and nice. Then I'm taking this bandage which I got from a craft store here in Norway and this was actually so much fun because it had that kind of blood on it and I'm just going to place this around my head and kind of swirl it around so it will look like a headband and also like you've had the surgery and when that's done you're pretty much done with the look and hopefully you found this enjoyable and don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you did and also be sure to subscribe and I want to wish you a happy Halloween I hope you will have lots of fun Thank you so much for watching you guys I hope you found it inspirational and enjoyed this tutorial it is my first Halloween tutorial ever and I'm so pleased with the result so if you are as well please give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe if you're new because there will be a lot of fun videos out very soon and when that's been said I love you so much thank you for all the nice comments and thank you for all the support you mean the world to me guys and I want to wish you a blessed and happy weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!